Well, happy Sunday. It's uh, another shitty Sunday. Driving my old lady's vehicle because my daughter's buying, borrowing my truck lately. Uh, but I haven't done one of these in a minute, so I figured I'd do one now. Happy Sunday. I hope y'all are having a good one. I'm about to go have a good one. I am heading to the Church of the Second Amendment. Go check on the goat house. Also, I got the uh, pistol brace stuff out for today. So that's going to be fun. A little bit of uh, the bigger pistols that I'm going to be shooting. <laughs> and they're now illegal in my state, so there's that. You know, and of course, I get to be behind fucking dumbasses who don't ever want to fucking just go. Just go. You know, the second you come to a stoplight, don't fucking look into your phone. Don't look and see what's going on. Please, just fucking drive. Right? Instead of being stupid. But... You know, humans can't help but be stupid anymore. They're fucking morons. I mean, look at the people that are supposed to be leading us. If anybody's watched any of the Twitter file shit that's coming out of Congress, our country's falling apart, so I hope you're prepared for it. I've been prepared for it for a long time. And I've been calling this kind of shit out for a long time. Right? So, I hope you all are prepared for what's coming. I prepare every Sunday. I go out, you know, we store up food, we store up water, <clears throat> we store up ammo, right? Because I was going to buy a Benelli. Well, instead of buying a Benelli, I took two grand and bought two grand worth of ammo. Cases of it. Right? Now, it's not as much as I used to be able to buy just five years ago, right? The prices are about double still of what you're getting for a case of ammo. You know, I remember when you could pick up a thousand rounds of 76239 for about 200 bucks. Now it's about 400. I remember when you were spending for brass cased 556, you were spending about 250. It was a $50 difference between steel and brass, right? Now you're spending close to 500. I think the cheapest I saw lately was 429. For brass case, 55 grain ammo. So, that's what I spent my money on. Why? Because I go out and shoot every fucking Sunday. Every Sunday I'm throwing lead down range. So, to be able to keep my skills up, which I enjoy doing, don't get me wrong, it's also my hobby. But what I enjoy doing uh, is fucking expensive. Right? So, I hope... Y'all, A, keep your skills up because guess what? These are perishable skills. Shooting is a perishable skill, right? Which is why it's kind of shocking how cops don't have to do any, right? And they don't have to be good at it. But that's just the way it is these days. So there we are, right? And for all the people over on my community page, especially you bootlickers, I do not know. Please stop saying, not all cops, not all sheriffs, not all police are bad. Oh my God, I can't believe you say these things. There are protectors. Uh... No, they're not. No, they're not. They're taking a paycheck to fucking control you. Stop thinking that... That's the basics of it. They're taking a paycheck to tell you what to do and to control you. They have no duty to protect. I've said it multiple times. I've shown it multiple times on the community page, bringing it up in the dragon, all over the fucking internet, right? Three times the Supreme Court of these United States have said police do not have, nor do sheriffs, by the way, have a duty to protect 
the citizenry. They have a duty to protect the government. They have a duty to protect government property and to enforce government laws. That's what they have a duty to do. Protect you? Absolutely not. There's nowhere in their fucking saying where it says they have a duty to. And you know what? People have sued the government, police departments, sheriff departments, right? All of them, every law enforcement available, they have been sued. And the SCOTUS, the Supreme Court of these United States, have said they have zero duty to protect you. So please fucking stop. Just stop and wake the fuck up. Oh, but don't break the law. You you know what? Look, here's the deal. Go look at how many laws are on the books and guess how many you break a day. Motherfucker, if you go 56 out of 55, you've broken the law. Okay? So please stop with that bullshit. If you've ever cheated on your taxes, you've broke the law. Right? If you ever mistakenly walked out with an item, you broke the law out of a store, right? You broke the law. You are then subject to the same kind of abuses that are shown all over the internet. And it's not just black people, okay? Let me put this to you 100%. Everything you've seen happen to a black person, it's happened to 10 white people. For every one incident you see with black people, it's happened to 10 white people. Want to argue? Go fucking look and we have the ability to now. So stop speaking from your fucking ignorance and go learn something. Now, that being said, I'm going to tell you all to have a good Sunday. Get out. Get some fucking gun smoke up your nose. Right? Get some recoil put into your body. Go out and do that shit. Because for all you motherfuckers that keep talking about what great guns you have, how your gun safe's full, yada yada, and yet you got like a fucking hundred rounds of ammo sitting around, yeah, fuck you. Go buy some ammo, go do some training. Because otherwise, you're just a loot box for people like me. Do you understand that? That if you have the best Daniel Defense rifle and, uh, you know, I have all the fucking, all the accoutrements, I have a fucking night force scope on this motherfucker, but, you know, nobody ever sees you at the range, you never go out to the range, it sits in your, it sits in your safe, or maybe once in a while when you close the doors and the kids and the wife are asleep, you pull out your dick and you start finger banging your fucking Daniel Defense, but you've shot maybe 20 rounds through it. I'm going to say thank you when I come into your house and take your shit, right? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to walk out and say, hey, my PSA, which I'm going to keep forever, right, will go into my safe and I'll use your fucking Daniel Defense. So, because my PSA has more fucking rounds in it than most people's goddamn fucking Daniel Defense, right? Same with my Wasser 10 AK. My Wasser 10 AK has more rounds in it than most people's fucking arsenals, right? So whatever high dollar AK you bought from fucking Fuller or whoever, right? How many rounds do you actually have through it? Well, you want me to tell you how many rounds I have through my fucking Wasser and it still hits about a two and a half inch group? 15,000 rounds through it. I've had people tell me my gun shouldn't shoot anymore. It should be broken. It should be done. Well, guess what? <laughs> it's not. It still shoots. It shoots a little bit less than it did back when I first got it. A little bit. Tiny bit, right? Otherwise, I'm still putting fucking under three inch groups at a fucking hundred yards easily. Easily. And most of the fuck ups are me because I'm old. And I drink a lot of coffee and I shake. And the most of the times when I'm doing a little bit of shaking, it's because I haven't smoked any weed yet before I headed to the fucking range. So, which I really should take care of now because I drank a lot of coffee this morning. So, out comes the pen and here in comes the THC, right? That'll help uh, calm my fucking shakes down. from drinking whiskey last night and coffee this morning.
which I found a really nice bourbon, 100 proof bourbon. It's called Rebel. Really good shit. Not expensive either. Not super expensive, but it's a really good bourbon. So I started drinking again. I had a, I had a fucking, I had a glass of that, and I'm like, oh fuck. I may not have drank in fucking 21 years, but guess what? That's so good, I'm going to start drinking again. So, anyway, y'all have a good Sunday. Get out and get to the range.